are dealing with dizziness, a world that is constantly spinning. If you're in that, well, you're not alone. Millions of Americans suffer from chronic dizziness and balance issues, and many can't find relief. Healthy reporter Sylvia Perez joining us to let us know there are indeed some solutions. Kathy and Alan, it's something that can be hard to diagnose. The feeling of spinning or rocking vertigo or constant nausea can literally turn your life upside down. Even more difficult is finding someone who can help make it go away. Now high-tech testing and some very low-tech exercises are bringing relief. <laughs> That whirling, rocky, spinning sensation may be more common than you might think. In fact, it is the second most common reason people go to the doctor. Unfortunately for some, the dizziness or vertigo just doesn't go away. It just, bam, hit me, I got dizzy, and I wasn't sure where it came from. After dealing with the common cold, Carrie Ferris says her life turned upside down. The 38-year-old mother of three young boys went to several doctors. No one could help. She was getting desperate when she discovered physical therapy. There is actually a fix for most causes of dizziness. Michelle Carer is a physical therapist and the owner of the Lifestyle Physical Therapy and Balance Center in Chicago. A workout might not be the first thing that comes to mind when you think of treating dizziness or vertigo, but these exercises serve a specific purpose. But first, getting the right diagnosis is key. According to the National Institutes of Health, 85% of equilibrium problems usually have something to do with the inner ear. That helps us maintain balance. What's making it now easier to diagnose balance problems is high-tech equipment. Things such as these infrared goggles that can gauge movement in your eyes, or computerized devices that measure how out of balance you really are. For many people, crystals found in the inner ear may somehow get knocked loose. That could be the culprit. These odd-looking maneuvers can put those crystals back in place, eliminating the dizziness. For other people, problems with the inner ear that can come from a virus or physical damage may actually be helped with exercise. At first, these exercises may make a person feel worse before they get better, but the therapy is based on the concept that the same movements that make a patient dizzy can relieve the symptoms by repetition. Experts say it's essentially recalibrating the inner ear system. Any information that we can send to your brain that makes you more grounded is going to like override your inner ear system that's been damaged. So we challenge your eyes, your inner ear, and your sense of touch. Neurologist Timothy Hain, known as the Dizzy Doctor, uses various treatments but says there is a place for physical therapy. He agrees it may take months but says the low-tech workouts can work. They need to have their brain readjust to the new situation that they're missing half of their inner ear function. And their physical therapy is, is immensely helpful. Carrie says after several weeks of intense therapy, and at-home exercises, she's almost back to normal. I can work on the computer, I can play with the kids, I can pick up toys, I can go run up and down the stairs a million times without even noticing it. As a physical therapist, Michelle Kerr is very passionate about helping patients even as she is going through her own struggle with cancer. She believes most people can be helped. The first step, though, is getting the right diagnosis. It's a horrible problem. Yes, it is. But what a great treatment mm -hmm. for those that Isn't it, it works. Yeah. yeah. Very so cool. there's help out there. Yeah, thanks, mm -hmm. Sylvia. All right, Jerry, this weather.